the Recovering Water Shield Fire Protection System. A new radical approach to protect storage tanks and properties against wildfires. The Recovering Water Shield Fire Protection System is based on using water, as a shield rather than a sprinkling spray, to protect a surface against a fire. A thin running film of water can protect a surface against a fire by blocking the direct fire, and taking away the thermal energy from the protected surface. This can be verified easily with a piece of wood plank protected with a film of water, as shown here in this video record. As you can see, as long the thin water film is running, the surface is protected against the fire. A thin water film can protect efficiently a surface against fire. Because the high capacity of water to store thermal energy, thicker or faster is the film, higher will be the protective capacity of the shield. To get an objective measure of the protective capacity of the water film against fire, we used a small wooden model with a temperature sensor installed inside. These video records are showing the record with the water film, on the left and without the water film on the right. The temperatures in each condition were recorded every 30 seconds and then plotted on the chart shown below. The chart of the temperatures recorded during 12 minutes in presence and absence of the water film shows a clear difference. As you can see, the temperature record of the surface covered with the water film, shows here in blue, is steady and doesn't change. In opposite, without the water film protection, the temperature raises quickly to reach an ignition point. This simple comparative test demonstrates how efficient is a thin running water film, as a shield to protect a surface against fire. This can further demonstrated by these visual comparative video records showing, how a thin running water film can protect efficiently even a wooden surface against fire. As you can see on the panels of the left, the protection is total. In contrary, without this protection the surfaces catch fire rapidly. The ability of thin water film to protect efficiently even a wooden surface demonstrate the efficient is this approach. To spray water efficiently on a surface, 100 traffic company is introducing a new category of nozzle. This nozzle has a fan-like shape, and has been specifically designed to spread flat jet of water with a wide angle. The nozzle has internal directional blades to deflect the entering water flow on all its surface. In result, the water is sprayed with a wide angle of 180 degree. More importantly, higher is the pressure of water entering in the nozzle, larger is the covered surface. These characteristics make this nozzle very well adapted to be used with the recovering water shield fire protection system. The water is sprayed at very close range on the surface, as a thin flat jet. Because of this close range spray, the water film would not be sensitive to wind as could be a sprinkler spray. The video record shows a test of a nozzle prototype, and depicts the flatness of the water sprayed. This nozzle has been patented. It is built into two complementary parts, to enable easy maintenance if necessary. However, it can be built into one single piece. The fan shape. The curve of its body and the arrangement of its internal directional blades were designed for maximum water spread on a flat surface. The water jet coming of this nozzle is not only flat but also bended in such way, that the jet is flat, bended and uniform. Which is critical to spread uniformly, and smoothly a water flow coming from a pipe on a flat surface as a water film. To connect the nozzle to the pipe bringing the pressurized water, all need will be a T-pipe for the pipe connection and simple wrench for the nozzle connection. This enables a fast installation or fast removal for maintenance of the nozzle. This nozzle comes as the key part of the system. We named the system Recovering Water Shield Fire Protection System, because it is based on recovering water used. This animated view shows the basic principle of the system. A pump takes water from a storage container and ejects it under pressure through a pipe toward nozzles positioned on the highest face of a surface to protect against fire. The water sprays from each nozzle merge to form a unique water film covering the surface. The descending water film is recovered at the bottom of the surface by a gutter. 
the recovered water is oriented toward the water stock by a pipe. This creates a water loop, where the same water is spread on the surface over and over as long the pump is running. From the protective capacity of a water film shown in the beginning of this presentation, the shield fire protection part of the name of this system becomes obvious. With a plurality of nozzles connected to a pipe positioned on the highest face of a surface, a water film is created. This water film acts as a shield, is recovered by the gutter system, and redirected back to the water stock. This closed water circuit enables indefinite water supply, as long the pump can run. This system eliminates the risk of water shortage during a fire alert. Therefore, this fire protection system will be perfect to protect properties in areas with high risk of wildfires. Here, the recovering water shield fire protection system is shown installed on a typical house. In this view, a suction pipe has one end in a pool and a second end connected to a water pump. The water pump injects pressurized water in an inlet pump connected to the system main pipe. This main pipe is connected to a secondary pipe installed under the eaves and the top of the roof of the house. This secondary pipe is connected to a plurality of nozzles disposed on the surfaces of the roof and of the walls of the house. Collector gutters are mounted on the edge of the roof and connected to gutter connectors. These gutter connector bring the used water from the roof to the lower collector gutter. The lower collector gutter is connected to an outlet pipe to bring back the used water to the water stock. This closed the water loop because the same water used to cover the house surfaces is brought back to the same stock. Heat sensors positioned at strategic locations on the house or in the surrounding area enable permanent monitoring the environment. When an impending fire is approaching, the heat sensor sends signal to a central command to activate the pump. This enables an automatic activation of the system without the need for a human presence. However, the system can be activated manually if necessary. When the system is activated, the pressurized water is injected toward the nozzles through the pipe. The water spray coming from each nozzle are merged to form a protective water shield on the house surfaces. Therefore, the house is protected against direct fire flames, the amber or the radiant heat generated by the fire. The gutters installed at the edges of the roof and at the bottom of the walls, collect the used water. This used water is redirected toward the water stock. This closed loop enables water supply as long necessary. The only water loss is due to the evaporation generated by the fire heat. It has to be noted that the water stock shown here is a pool. However, this water stock could be a buried water tank or a tank, where is stored any liquid used to protect the house such as a fire retardant or any other liquid. The water is recycled permanently. Because the water is spread directly on the house surface, it can resist to wind common during wildfires. Therefore, there is no water flooding in surrounding area. Used with water, this system is environment friendly and can even use to cool a house. This animation shows how the system can be installed on a house. It shows the disposition and orientation of the different parts of the system. As you can see, most of the parts of the system are hidden from sight. So, the installation of the system will not modify the appearance of the house. The nozzles connected to the secondary pipe are mounted directly on the surfaces of the house. The water stock can be buried as well as the connecting pipes. This makes the system almost invisible. For more complicated architectures, Small modifications will be necessary to be made on the edges of the house windows or doors, to accommodate easy circulation of the water of the house surface. Therefore, this system can be installed on existing houses as well as on new houses. In this case, the architectural design will integrate the system to make water, to flow smoothly of the house surfaces. As shown in the beginning, this system will work on wooden surface so I can be used to protect wooden houses such as shingle houses. The owners of these great looking houses have usually hard times to get insurance against wildfire from insurance companies. This because of the high risks of wooden houses to catch fire during wildfires. Here is an animated view of a shingle house with the recovering fire protection installed. As for any house, the system will be installed the same way. 
As shown previously, the system parts are barely visible. The nozzles in the pipe can even further hidden behind ornamental plates. Therefore, with the recovering water shield fire protection system, even shingle houses can be protected efficiently against wildfires. The system can be used efficiently on wooden surfaces, it can be also be used on other surfaces less sensitive to fire such as concrete or brick walls. The recovering water shield fire protection system is being introduced as a very competitive alternative to sprinkler systems. Sprinkler systems are used also to protect properties against wildfires. This, by creating a mist of sprinkling water drops around the protected house. The popularity of the systems based of sprinkling water is due mainly to their reliability, low cost and facility of use. However, these systems have two major weaknesses. Firstly, most wildfires usually come with powerful wind. In such windy conditions, the protective water mist will be taken away. This will leave the properties vulnerable to the fire flames or radiant heat coming from the fires. Not surprising that commercials making promotion of these systems never show them in action in windy conditions. The other fundamental weakness of a sprinkler system is that the sprayed water is hardly recoverable. This limits the use of such systems only to areas with important water supplies. Otherwise, during a wildfire alert, if everyone is using a sprinkler system as fire protection, the water supply will rapidly exhausted. Therefore, the other advantage of our recovering water shield fire protection system is to give full autonomy to its users in term of water supply, because the water is reusable as long as necessary. This recovering water shield fire protection system can be also be used to protect structures with simple geometry as tanks. Such tanks are usually used to store dangerous liquids such oil, gas or fuel. They come mostly in cylindrical shape. Here is shown one of these tanks with the recovering water shield fire protection system installed on it. As previously, a pipe brings pressurized water to a secondary and circular pipe mounted around the top of the tank. This pipe is connected to nozzles mounted in such way that the water spray coming from each is merged with a spray coming from adjacent nozzles to form a unique protective water film. This water film protects the surface of the tank against the fire and is recovered at the bottom of the tank by a circular gutter. This gutter is connected to a collecting pipe that redirects the water toward the stock to enable the creation of a water loop. Therefore, each tank is protected individually against fire. On a tank storage field, each tank is protected individually. This animation shows a panoramic view of such tank storage field with a recovering water shield fire protection system installed. As shown, each tank is protected individually. A main pump brings pressurized water coming from a stock to cover each tank with a water film. The circular gutter at the bottom of each tank is connected to a main collecting pipe returning the used water toward the stock, which can be a natural reservoir, a river or buried water storage. As you can see, this system is easy to install, it makes the protection of each tank individual, enables long-term water availability and is environmental friendly. In use, during a fire alert or an impending wildfire, a pump unit injects pressurized water in a main distributor pipe connected to secondary distributor pipes of each tank. The pressurized water is injected to the nozzles around the top of each tank to spread a water film around each. A gutter at the bottom of each tank connected to a secondary collector pipe brings the used water back to the water stock. The closed water loop enables a protection against fire, as long needed without the risk of water shortage. The recovering water shield fire protection system has many advantages compared to existing comparative systems such as water cannon. Water cannon are widely used to extinguish fire and also as fire protection to wet surfaces, and so prevent them to catch fire. Water cannons require an important logistic of several trucks, hoses and so, can generate serious traffic trouble around the area where they are used. These water cannons use water under very high pressure. This make them very dangerous to use. Therefore, their use requires heavy material and human logistics of highly specialized firefighters. 
More importantly, this technique does not recycle water as our system. Not to mention their susceptibility to possible blowing wind in the area. These make this approach more efficient, as fire extinguisher rather than fire protection system. Using spreading foam as fire extinguisher or fire protection is efficient. However, these systems can be hardly be used in windy environment. Such systems introduce also chemical hazard in the environment. Therefore they require specific containments and high maintenance. Because these requirements of their uses are limited to industrial environment and more used as fire extinguisher than fire protection. Water curtains are relatively old, simple and reliable system. However, this system does not protect individually. It uses a very high water pressure to create a wall of water in front of the area to protect. Obviously, the used water is not recovered. Besides flooding the surrounding area, this system requires important amount of water and is susceptible to lose its protective efficiency in windy environment. This presentation shows you the tremendous potential of this system. Firstly as an efficient tool to protect properties against wildfires. Then as an efficient fire protection system to be used in industrial environments on storage tanks. The potential of our recovering water shield fire protection system resides in its protective efficiency associated with its simplicity of installation and use. As any sprinkler system, the system uses pressurized water delivered by a water pump and can automatic or manual. The innovation is that the water is sprayed as a protective film and is recovered to be reused. This eliminates the susceptibility of the system to the winds, which are very frequent during wildfires. More importantly, this approach eliminates the risk of water shortage and makes the users of the system autonomous regarding their water supply. Water being the critical and limiting factor during wildfire episodes, the recovering and recycling of the water introduced by our system will radically change fire protection. Finally, the system used water recycles water and prevent flooding of surrounding area. It will be hard to be more environment friendly. If you are a homeowner in wildfire area, a fire protection professional, an architect, a city manager, a manufacturer or just curious and interested in this new concept, do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for your time.